Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, I got quite a bit of content that I want to get out to you guys in this particular vlog. So we're going to really try to jump right into it. But just to let you know, in this vlog, I'm going to show you what I keep in my travel closet. I don't know if everybody has a travel closet or a travel container or a travel room. Um, but when I say travel closet, all I mean is the things that I go to, the essentials that I need when we take our either leisure travel or business travel. So since the pandemic, I haven't had any um, business travel. So all of my travel since then, since 2020 has been, um, of course, leisure travel. So I have a need to keep, well, I say I have a need. I like to travel. That is my pastime. I don't do it as nearly as much as I would want to. But when I do get a chance to travel, which lately has been about two to three times a year, I need for all of my travel gear and travel items to be organized and I can easily put my hand on them. So I have what I call a travel closet. So I want to share with you guys what I store in my travel closet. Um, maybe you'll see a couple of things that you like or get, get inspired to do the same thing. Um, do you go out and buy things every time you travel and you can't find them the next time you travel? Well, this is my solution to that. So let's get into the video. All right, everybody. So let's start off by coming into my travel room. I call it my pink room because I painted the walls pink a little while ago. I don't know why Santa is still over there, but Santa is still out from Christmas. I'll put him up later. But what you're seeing here is a clothing rack that I ordered from Amazon. I pull it out uh, because it collapses and I can put it away. I only pull it out when I am planning a trip. So I can hang my clothes up here so I can see my outfits. And then I also have my shoes down below so I can kind of figure out which shoes I'm going to take. But over here to the right, this is the actual travel closet. So let's take a look. This is the IKEA pack system. Um, I put this together about two years ago now, almost two years ago. Um, we put the pack system in here. I also have the pack system in my bedroom closet as well, but it's um, a lot larger than here. So as you can see, I have a combination of drawers and shelves. Um, I also have lighting in here, backlighting um, that I ordered from Amazon. Um, but it's a little small closet, just perfect for what I'm using it for. So we'll start up here at the top. On this top shelf is where I keep the bags that I will travel with. Um, for the most part, they're crossbodies. Um, and then I have a couple of clutches that I'll use when we go out to eat when we're on vacation. But in the back are like some, um, I guess, like carry on larger purse sizes that I may dump things in when we take like weekend trips. Um, I don't usually take those on my long haul trips, but I'll take those if we're doing like a quick weekend trip. Um, this is a crossbody that I love to take, but it honestly is not big enough for like my camera, my phone. Um, my wallet, my passport is really not so well for like walking around during the day, but this one is, this one is a really, really good size. Um, it's a coach bag. I kind of, I kind of like coach a lot, <laughs> pretty much do like coach, but um, I've had this one for a while. I actually have the matching um, wallet for that one. So I will take this one a lot. It's red, so it kind of stands out, but I really still like this, this purse. I like it. It's big. Um, it's big enough, but it's not so big that it's bulky when I'm traveling. And then I have this one. I got this one from Paris. We went to Paris in April, um, and it's still in its dust bag. I actually took this one on the trip that we took, our Mediterranean cruise. I didn't carry it every day or anything, but this one was pretty nice. Um, it's a good size as well. So I have that one. And then down on this second drawer, um, or this second shelf, is kind of where I keep um trying to keep it open this shelf pulls out so it pulls out towards me and i can just kind of stack things up here um if i need things like right at the moment um so right at the moment what i have is i have a new um little i call it a crossbody but i think they're called bum bags or something i got this from the men's section at the coach outlet near me um, so this is like a crossbody, but I like that it can sit like almost in my chest. 
um, and I can keep it in front of me. That's what I like about having crossbodies. I don't like anything on my back. I don't want a backpack at all ever when I'm traveling. I really don't have a backpack that I, even one that I keep here at the house. Um, but I just picked this one up. It has this little um, slit in the back so you can get to it um, from the back without opening the top part. So I have this right here because I'm taking this with me on my next vacation. And then over here in the back, I have this, um, let me move this out of the way. I have this old Victoria's Secret makeup case. I've had this, I know, probably 12, 13 years, um, but I like it. It's too much to travel with internationally. I never have this much makeup on me anyway. But if we got to take a trip um, somewhere in the car domestically, I definitely take this with me. I always have this with me because I can travel with it when we're just driving. Um, I have this little caddy thing here where I can drop um, extra cards in here that I don't need all the time. Um, also, I'll keep like loose change in here from uh, when we go out of the country. So I have a few pieces of euro in here that I've dumped in here, but my husband usually keeps all the extra euro. Um, and we'll, I think we used it up on our last trip, <laughs> honestly. Uh, we took the extra coins that I had left over. We took those with us. Um, if you haven't traveled internationally, especially in Europe and probably anywhere, I know for, for a fact in some of the European countries and Italy in particular, um, you may be asked to pay um, 50 cents or so, 25 cents, sometimes maybe every dollar, I don't know, um, to use the bathroom. So if you have to use the bathroom out in public, sometimes you, you are charged for that. So we always have coins on us for that. So when we come back home, if I have any extra, I dump them here. Let me move this over here. And then I'll saw on this shelf, um, I'll keep like my um, my travel guides. I really like Rick Steves. Um, so I have a couple of his travel guides, Athens, Amsterdam, Florence. I have the best of Italy. And then I have also have his 2017 Italy one. This one right here, I think this is a new edition. I think this is my new one. I think so. I think this is like 2021. Um, and then I have a Lonely Planet travel guide as well. Um, so I've used this a little bit. I'm actually taking another trip to Italy this year. Um, so I'm going to brush back up on a couple of things um, in my travel guides. But I keep those right there. So that's this shelf. And in the back, I just have like a decorative plant. There's nothing. Honestly, in this closet, I did not decorate this closet um, at all. Um, maybe I'll get to it one day, but I have not done any decorating in this closet. Um, don't really feel the need to do it, but it is an IKEA pack system. So I can configure it any way I want. I really like it. I have the same system in my bedroom closet. Um, so yeah, it has come in handy. <laughs> um, so let's go down to the to the next drawer, which will be this drawer. See if I can pull you guys down a little bit. All right. So in this drawer is where I keep like my pouches, little small bags, um, and things of the sort. So over here, I have a little jewelry box travel jewelry case and i didn't i had I, this one here i honestly where did i have oh this one this was my old jewelry case um but i just got this one haven't even used it yet i haven't even taken the tag off of it i got it from target um i wanted something smaller so i got this one and it has it's smaller but honestly this one here holds more stuff than this one um this one is bigger it's a hard shell Hold on, let me get you guys situated. Let's see. Okay, so this one is bigger, um, but it doesn't hold that much stuff. Oh, let me open it if I can get it open. So it has room for, I guess it's some rings or maybe, I don't know what I was sticking these slits. Um, and then, well, rings here. They have these slits here. I don't know if this is for earrings. I never really knew. Um, and then they have these little compartments on the side. But I didn't have a good spot that I wanted to put my, my necklaces in. I like to wear um, gold necklaces. Um, I don't wear a lot of costume jewelry. So I don't want my gold necklaces to get tangled in here on my bracelets. So I bought me another one. So this is the one that I had before. I bought this one for my jewelry and it actually has somewhere for you to hang your earrings here um, or necklaces and then it can 
kind of you can loop them around here around this little piece here and then it came with this other little small case that you can put your necklaces earrings bracelets or whatever in there so i'm going to try this one out this one will be going with me on my next trip and it's like this velvet velvet like material so yeah i like this this one a lot and then over here i also have and i think i, I told you guys about this in my christmas haul um, I got these these for my um, for me and my husband. They're pill cases. They came three to a pack, so there was these three in the pack. Um, I've only opened this one, so um, they came with these labels as well, so I can label what the items are. Because a lot of times I'll travel with like allergy medicine, Tylenol, Advil, Aleve, or whatever, and then these are spots that you can put your medication, like your um, prescription medications, if you need to. So I bought these for us. Uh, so I have that in here. I also have um, this eye patch has HBO Max on it. Um, jet lag. I really, I, I do like to use um, eye masks on the plane, but I will say honestly, I leave this at home a lot. I forget about it, but I have it. This is my toothbrush um, holder, my toothbrush case. I've had this one forever. I've got and since actually gotten another electric toothbrush, but I keep this case for travel. Then back here is my electronics case. I used to use this a lot when I traveled a lot for work. We don't travel as much for work since, you know, after the whole, you know, thingy thingy. Um, so we don't, I don't travel as much, but this one is kind of big and it kind of bit much for me when I travel um, for personal travel. But if I need to take it, I will take it. It is pretty big. It will hold all your batteries, your chargers. Um, any equipment that you need, your um, all your cords and everything can go here. But yeah, I still have this, so I keep this in this drawer. And then back here, I have a new um, toiletry case. So I got the the in shell or the knee shell um, case. You guys probably seen this a lot on YouTube and on um, TikTok. So yeah, I went for it, and I got the large. So this is the large size you guys back a little bit more um this is the large and it actually folds open i'm not going to do a whole show of this right now but it actually does fold open and it hangs this is the big thing about these bags they actually hang so you can hang them up over the door in the bathroom and like i said this is a large so it is a it can hold both me and my husband's toiletries at least that's the um that's the goal for these trips coming up. So it has several pockets and this is this is big. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is really, really big. Um, I actually got rid of my old toiletry bags. I gave them to one of my girlfriends. There was nothing wrong with them. And I was like, since I got this one, let me gift my other ones to someone I know will use them. Um, but this bag is actually bigger than the ones I had before. But yeah, so got this new toiletry bag. Can't wait to use it because guess what? That means I'll be on vacation. So I have this in here. Also, underneath that bag, I keep, if I take any bags or have any bags, shopping bags and trips that I think may be useful, I'll keep them. This one was kind of small. I got this from Disneyland Paris this year. So I decided to keep this one. It actually has the 30 Years of Magic on it. So this is Disneyland Paris's um, 30th anniversary this year or 2022. And it was Disney World in Orlando's 50th anniversary. Um, so got this here and let me put this back in here starting back here is where i keep my um packing cube so this is one packing cube but it's full of all my packing cubes i have two sets of this same pack, set of packing cubes i had i've had these for years if i can find the link from amazon i got them from amazon i'll attach the link down below and matter of fact i'll attach the link for anything that i have down below um, so I have these packing cubes. I have like small, medium, large. I have shoe bags. I have um, like these uh, makeup bags, this size. Like I said, I got a set of two of these. And I want to say they have eight pieces, eight pieces each set. Um, but yeah, I keep my packing cubes in here. And then also, this is a new item that I got from Amazon um, just last month. I'll attach this down below, but this is for your makeup brushes. I did need this because your makeup brushes can make your um your travel your toiletry bag or your makeup bag dirty. 
I don't like that. Um, I do have this new makeup bag that I got from Bath and Body Works. Um, I saw it in there. I just like, I honestly, guys, just like this because it was pink. Um, but I have this one in here and I stuck it here because it was cute in the front of this drawer so you can kind of see it. But yeah, these, this, and this is silicone and it has like a, um, strap on it or whatever. Yeah. But it's a, um, makeup brush couch, um, pouch. So I can stick this inside of my toiletry bag because I wouldn't take this and a big bag at the same time. I would take one or the other. I got this pouch here. It's a waist pack or fanny pack, old school fanny pack. Just in case I want to, like, not have a crossbody on me that particular day, I can put this under my jacket um, or under my shirt, and I can keep my, my valuables close. I, on, I think I'm going to let my son take this one or use this one. He has a trip coming up, international trip coming up, so he's probably going to take and use this one. So, like I said, this, this travel closet is honestly for all of our travels, not just for me. So, my son will use this. And then over here, I have some more makeup pouches um just extra pouches this came with a purse that i had before um another makeup pouch this was my this is a um electronics bag another electronics bag extra leftover tickets delta uh you can put your cords and chargers your your dongles your little blocks and stuff in here i use this and this is a good one to have just to keep in your um your bag that you have during the day like if you have a day pack and you're out, this is small enough. It's a lot smaller than this thing. So you can keep this in your in your purse or in your day pack um, if you're out, you know, sightseeing. And then I have this travel wallet um, that I bought from Amazon. I'll link this one down below as well. I do like this travel wallet. But honestly, for the stuff that I travel with, this is kind of big for me, honestly. Um, it just depends on what type of trip I'm taking. Um, but this, I did like it because I was able to get my, um, it has a little pouch here for your SD cards, your passport, your travel documents, a pen, um, any cards that you may have, cash, things like that. So I have used it. It did, it, it is a good wallet. And then here's another old Victoria's Secret, um, makeup bag. Now back here, this is actually probably something I would consider a souvenir. These were some um water boots what do you call them i don't know like not moccasins but we went to venice in 2019 and if you guys go back and look it up that was like one of their historic floods um in 2019 and we were there but um of course we didn't um uh, you know we didn't cause we're here we didn't drown or anything but it was one of their really bad um floods in november of 2019 and when we were there the water was high they call it aqua alta um, high tide and we needed these boots to keep our feet dry so this is the these are the boots that we wore in venice during that um 2019 november 2019 aqua alta and i'll insert a picture i'll show you a picture of um me and bay on that trip but like i said these are souvenirs left over from that trip i doubt i'll get rid of them we doubt i, I know for sure i probably won't ever need them for anything hopefully i won't but all right, so that's this drawer. Let's move down to the next drawer. All right, this drawer has all the stuff. And for some reason, I can't get this drawer to come out. I gotta fix it, I don't know. It, it won't slide out as far as this drawer. But anyway, let's get into it. So over here, can you guys see? Let's see, let you guys see over here. Over here in this, so over here in this left corner, I have um, all of my toiletries. So like some uh, micellar water, deodorant, lotions. So I have like different lotions because um, a lot of times I'll bring different things with me. Um, and if I have things left over, I'll bring them back home. Like these are actually full. These are not full. Um, Donny wrinkle release. My husband's deodorant. So I keep that stuff here. And then also back here, I keep like um, these travel washcloths. I got these from Amazon. This is a new pack um, that I just opened. Got these from Amazon. And they actually come with a little travel, a little travel case with them. So you keep this travel case. Um, you keep, can keep these at home if you don't need that many of them. But in this travel case, they'll have room for how many in here five you can put five of them in here 
that will keep them dry because once they get wet, they're they're activated. Um, and it says multi-use, but I typically only use it one time and then I toss them. And then that way you have your own washcloths with you when you're traveling. So yeah, these are perfect. Get some of these. Um, also over here, I have, um, these are called frog towels. I call them frog towels, but um, we go to Disney World a lot. Actually, every year we'll go to Disney World. And I always take these. This is a smaller one, but they have a bigger one, a bigger size one. And you keep them in these little um, these little plastic tins. And the reason I still have this one is because I lost the top. And once it gets wet, you really still need the top to go on it. So I haven't used this one yet. Um, but you can use these over and over. You can keep them for a while, but haven't used that one yet. And then in this section here, I don't know if you guys can see yet. You can see these um, dividers are in here. I have these plastic dividers. These are from Ikea as well. So this is kind of how I keep everything separated. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit anal about it, but this is what I do. So I have my hand sanitizers. I um, have a bunch of these. You can always pick these up from anywhere. Um, I really like the pumps. This is what I use day on a daily basis. I always have these pumps with me. Pump, pump, pump. But I like these. And then I like that they... The way it feels, I like the, the Purell brand for the most part. And then I also have one that I can clip onto um, a bag while we're traveling. That way I don't have to dig for one in my purse. I'll keep this one like clipped onto my backpack or my purse. Um, you have your poopery spray. have to take that with you. And then this here is some hand soap. Um, I will say a lot of times when I'm traveling, especially when we go to Italy or some of the countries in Europe, um, there's not always soap for the most part. If we're in the touristy areas, you have soap, but sometimes you just never know. Um, these are soap, soap papers. Um, you put them in your hand, just treat it like soap, get it wet, and they do suds up. They're pretty good. I got these from Amazon. I'm going to order some more. I'm going to try a different kind, um, but they also, also have this uh, little clip on them. Um, I'll link these below so you can clip these in your purse, and they're always handy. So that's that section. Back here in this section, I have leftover travel kits from Delta, which is my airline of choice. Um, have three of them left because usually when they pass these out, I don't use them. I think they have like an eye mask. Yeah, like they have toothbrush, toothpaste, earplugs, and an eye mask. And this is a Comfort Plus one. What's in the, what's the difference? Oh, this one, the, um, the, the main cabin one doesn't have um toothbrush and toothpaste it has like a little cloth in here like a um hand cleansing towelette i don't know i don't know why they make that distinction maybe it's all about money i'm sure but anyway i have these left over but i i, I usually still take these with me at least one because you never know on a plane somebody might need them and i'm probably going to give my son one when he leaves for his trip coming up in this section here i have these empty Containers. So these are travel containers, nothing special about these. But one thing I will tell you is if you guys are using stuff like this, it's always good to put some um, saran wrap around the top of them and then put the top on it so that keep it from leaking. And if you can, just saran wrap the whole bottle and then screw the top on top of that and it'll help with leaks and it won't get all in your bag. Just a tip about that. Same thing. This is another one. This is a silicone type one. Um, I don't care for these that much, honestly. I'll just buy, um, I usually just buy the travel size. I mean, I know you can probably save a lot of money just by pumping your own, um, full size bottles into these. It just depends on what it is. If it's something that I can't get in a travel size, I'll use these containers. But these are just the, like, you know, real inexpensive ones. A lot of times I'll put styling gel in these. That's what I usually use these for. It's like some styling gel edge control stuff like that um i have a couple of extra pouches back here like i said i don't really use them i don't know i picked this up from somewhere for four bucks but it has all the pieces in it and then i actually have this one and this one has like little pouches in it as well um haven't used them yet but they have like these extra pouches i like pouches but i don't know about these colors that's throwing me off i don't even know where i got this from y'all but I have extra of these. Um, also, dental floss, these picks, take these with me. Um, and I put these, maybe that's what I can use these pouches for. I can use the clear pouch to put my dental pick because I always put these in like a Ziploc bag. So, 
yeah thank you thank you guys for letting me think of that <laughs> um then i have some heel grips i don't usually wear heels with me um on our vacation i always especially and for the most part guys i've been taking a lot of um european trips um if i'm not going to europe or italy or somewhere i am more than likely going to the caribbean and when i'm in the caribbean child i got flip-flops on i will probably take one pair of heels for dinner or something like that um i don't know i think i had these for a trip we took to amsterdam or something i don't even know but they're in here but i need to start taking more domestic trips like weekend long weekend trips but i haven't really been doing that lately so who knows um and then also in this section i forgot about these these are um perfume uh atomizers i think that's what it's called i don't know but they're travel size perfume reusable refillable perfume um cases so what you do is to use it you spin spin it up and then you pump it but to get your perfume in there you pull this piece out you open it up and then you can get your perfume in here um you, they got these pieces in here that helps you pump in your perfumes um i haven't used these yet i bought this one these from amazon i don't know if i'm going to use it this time or not but it's i came with a pack of it came with a pack of four so i was thinking i would give two for me and two for my husband so we'll see i gotta figure out how to put the um, perfume in there but usually what i do is i buy the travel size perfume so this is one this is a ysl one so i'll take this with me or i'll take these rolling size with me um this is what i've done you know for all my travels i've never used these before so i'll try it out we'll see uh here's some more um travel toothpicks i haven't opened this one yet i probably bought two one for me and one for my husband and we ended up just using one so like i said i always just bring them back home with me all right guys in this section um i have my um like i don't know first aid session I always need me some goodie powers, y'all. I don't leave. I don't even go anywhere for an extended period of time without my goodie powers. So I have a pack of those in here. I know I probably shouldn't take them the way I do. I don't take them that much, but when I need it, I need it and I want it. So I have um, my goodie powders in here. I have um, some blister um, wraps. This I use these primarily to keep me from getting blisters. I don't let I don't wait until I feel a blister because baby that's the worst thing. If you gotta walk and you're on vacation and you had shoes on, and like I said, I do I take a lot of tours, walking tours when we go to Europe. I have to have um these blister things. That's the last thing I want. Honestly, I have never gotten a blister on vacation, but I have seen what it does to people. It totally um incapacitates people. So your girl gonna keep these blister things with me. I actually had to give it to my husband um too because he one time he got he started feeling a blister coming on and he was like don't you have those um blister patches i sure do and i usually take this pouch with me i know i said the pouch that other pouch was kind of crazy but y'all i've had this thing for years i know five six seven years a long time and this is where i keep my first aid band-aids the blister pouches my goodie powders um alcohol wipes i take all this with me and it's small enough even here i think these might be some um i think these are um not zertex what's the other one clarity i think these are some clarity take these with us you just never know some probiotics if you know you know when you're traveling you gotta keep yourself going um so i keep all this in my little first aid pouch I probably need to give me another one what y'all think homegirl been rocking with me her zipper isn't broken probably need to clean her up a little bit but she been rocking with me also these things here must have must have must have wipe everything down use the bathroom just whenever you need to feel comfortable you can have these with you they're small enough they actually fit they fit at home girl she she takes a pack of those with her as well um i have a bunch of these they're downstairs in the pantry i got like i don't know i just sometimes when i know i'm about to travel if i'm in walmart i just pick up two or three every time i go in the store that way i know i have enough and then i have the travel size um lysol sprays funny story when we um when the whole thing happened in 2020 
I travel so much. I always had this stuff. Like I always had these things in my travel kit somewhere, bottles of them. And when everything hit, people couldn't find Lysol. I had so many of these. I probably had 20, 30 of these. So, but, and then, but the thing was, I didn't even need them because, you know, we were at home. We weren't at work and I wasn't traveling for work because I always travel these, use these when I travel for work. But I was already equipped when the whole thing happened. So I got that back here. I don't know how this end up in here, but a bingo marker from the carnival trip. Also, my carnival lanyard. I've had this for years, several trips. Um, clipped a couple of my VIPF pins on here. I always forget to get my pins. I think um, they had started where you have to ask or go and request your pins. They used to just leave them for you. But anyway, I probably missed two or three pins. But um, this is where you clip on your set and sell sign. And honestly, I'll use this one on a royal ship, on a Disney ship. I don't care. I buy but one lanyard. Um, and it's inconspicuous enough. You can't tell which cruise line it is, I guess. I don't know. But it's carnival. But I keep my lanyard in here, so I always know where it is. These are just some extra um, pouches to put your toiletries in. Got these from Walmart. I would definitely, if I use, if I ever were to use these, which I haven't before, put some saran wrap around these. These things probably leak, leak like crazy. I don't know if I would even use them, but I did buy them. So got that in there. And then the last thing in this drawer, I don't know why I didn't keep these in my up here with my pouches, but I don't. Um, got this from bed. What is it? Bath and Body Works. It's just a coin purse for your ID or whatever. I've never used it. And it has a little spot, I guess, for your hand sanitizer. But I never used it. This is my wallet that I love to take on vacation with me because it is so small. And it fits in my red, um, my crossbody, my coach purse. So I usually, I love taking this one. And then I also have another small one, a Michael Kors one, um, that has a lot of room. This one actually can feel a lot of stuff in here. Um, and it's small too, a little small wallet. So I do like these size wallets over this travel wallet that I was telling you guys about. about. Um, it's just smaller and easier to kind of keep up with you. And then I have a wristlet that I'll take with me as well on vacation sometimes. I kind of just shoot pick these um, depending on the, the location of the, of the trip, whichever one makes more sense. So I keep these in here because um, I usually typically don't use these when I'm at home. I have other my other wallets that I use it when I'm here at the house. All right, let's keep on moving. That drawer took a, took up some time. All right, moving on to this side of the closet. In this drawer is where I keep my electronics. Well, I just, yeah, I guess you can call it electronics drawer. But this is where I keep, like, um, gear. I don't know if you call it electronics. I think I keep my electronics in the next drawer, but just gear. So these two things here are um, travel pillows. And it's not the neck pillows. These are, and I'm gonna, I'll show you a picture of it. I'll um, post a link to these on from Amazon. I'll post a link. But these are travel pillows that you use on a plane. They're not neck pillows. They came with a um, eye mask. So they're just stuck in here. I have two of these. Oh, making a lot of noise. I have two of these. One for me and one for my husband. And then we have, um, I call this, it's a bag bungee. But it is this thing here. So it allows you to clip like another bag on top of your carry-on or on top of your suitcase so it doesn't fall over. Um, we've only used it one time and we've only used one of them. I got it from TJ Maxx and you see it was only $7. And this is the one that we, this is, this is the contraption here. Um, so keep it in here. This is a foot hammock. I'll also um, try to post a link to this foot hammock. You hang this on the back of your um, tray table, your, your seat back tray table. It doesn't bother the person in front of you at all. They can't even feel it. And then you have a place to rest your feet. And it helps with your back when you're on, like, especially on long flights. Um, I don't leave, I don't go on an international flight without mine. So it's right here. My husband also has one. I don't know where he is. It's just, maybe it's with his stuff. Don't know. Um, right, these are our air tags and these are some cases that I bought for them on Amazon. We have four air tags. My husband has two and I have two. 
these are my two i guess he has his two in his closet he has a red one and a black one and then we just have our air tags in it so most of the time we'll have a suitcase and a carry-on and we'll put our air tags in them here are some earplugs I, I never use earplugs but i don't know i have them over here is where i keep all my cords that i travel with so i have an extra um phone charger i um apple watch charger and these headphones here i have another set of headphones on the planes um you know you need this piece here this av cord i think it's an av cord um for your headphones on the plane or entertainment system like i said i fly delta um so i'm used to what the delta planes are and they use these they haven't caught up to use this plug yet but i know there's um an adapter you can get for your air um airpods and then also i think delta is doing changing out their planes to now let you bluetooth to the um entertainment system but i don't think that's that's you know been rolled out to all of their their fleet so i keep a set of ear p uh, earphones that i can plug into the plane so i keep those in here don't let your children steal those and yeah i just got an extra cord i think this goes with my um no this is a cord that probably goes with a charger or something some other device so i keep those in here these are just some wristbands from um this is jamaica this is probably a key to get in a room this is probably another key to get in a room our magic bands from my niece's first birthday at disney world so i kept those these magic bands don't work forever but i just kept them because it was her first birthday and this is my husband's and they, they come with your name and stuff on them so i kept them and then also guys these things here trick that still got cruises in them um i keep these to put your when you go on a cruise my cruise people i know y'all know like the luggage tags um you can put them in these plastic cases so they don't get torn up and you can have a luggage tag while you're on the cruise um, cruise ship and um, it makes it easy for them to bring the the luggage to the room or you can just staple them to your bag but i bought these a long time ago and i still have them because you can reuse them so you just stick your you stick your um stick your tick your luggage tag down in here this is a paper copy from one of our last cruises and let's see and show you how it works so if you ever go on a cruise you know what i'm talking about but if, for those who haven't cruised before you have these luggage tags and you, they're just paper and you're supposed to fold them up and then they staple them see here see here staple you staple these to the handle of your luggage and it's just a piece of paper well by putting it in this um pouch it just gives you a covering for your luggage tag. That's all. So these are in here and I do use them. I'll just stick them back later. This is another phone case um, that I have in case I want to switch out my phone case. Glass protector. I know this is my travel, um, my travel um, closet, but I do keep other little things in here. All right, moving on. Next drawer. Now, this is probably what I would consider electronics. So, I have a fan. I have a tripod for my cell phone. I need to pull this out. I need to take this with us. So, a um, tripod for my cell phone. Charging banks. So, I have several of these. I have these two. I have this one. Um, I think this is a... Um, that's a... Um, external hard drive um and then i do have a oh this is a charging bank right here so this is my new charging bank i'll take this one with us um this is a bigger heavy duty one this is my remote for my um gopro camera this is a travel adapter this is a must have if you're traveling out of the country this particular one has a uh, outlet for the eu so you just push out the I don't want to break it. Oh, you push this button on the side and then you can push out the cord. So this is for the European Union. So any country that's part of the European Union will use this plug. Um, if you're going to the UK, you would, I don't know what I just did, but if you're going to the UK, oh, it's part, this is a plug for the UK. So all the pieces pop out for you. So this is for the UK. This is for Australia. 
So these two pieces are for Australia and then the US. This is for the US. And then it also, once you plug it into the wall, you can use, you have four USB ports. So you plug it into the wall, you got four USB ports, and then you also have um, the back side. So if you have a US, you will plug your US part in here. If you have like a EU, you will plug your EU parts in here. So it's just a reversible, I don't say reversible, but it's a travel adapter. So get you one of these. I also have the the World Travel Kit that comes with your um, with Apple. Um, and but I think I I don't think I still have an adapter for it, like the the wall piece for it. I have well, I have the adapters. I don't have the piece that needs to go in the wall. I have to look and see. But I've had this for a long time. Actually, I think I've had this since 2015 because that was my first trip to Italy. So that's in there. This is a ring light. Let's see, I think this is a fan um, that I hooked to my niece's stroller. It has these um, adjustable legs on them. Um, so you can kind of wrap it around her stroller. It came in handy, kept her cool. Um, you, you charge it with USB and um, it's battery actually still working. Look at there. And that was from June of 2021. So, how you turn it off? Okay, go off. So this is from June of 2021. This thing is still working and I haven't used it since. So that's in there. I have a travel iron that I have never used because I never really iron on vacation. And then the hotels have irons in them and you can't take irons on cruise ships. I don't know what I need this for, um, but I have it. <laughs> so it's been sitting here in my closet. Down here is leftover hair products. None of that stuff is travel items, but I do have my travel backpack in this closet. And if you haven't watched, I have another video where I kind of go through this travel backpack in detail. Go take a look at that. I'll link it here um, so that you can have a link to that video. Up here on this shelf, I'll take you guys over here, is are my GoPro boxes. Um, I lost my GoPro Hero 10 Black in Tormina, Sicily last year. And it made me so sick because I had my entire two week Mediterranean vlog on that camera. Um, so I was so, so sick about that. But my husband bought me another one um, for Christmas. So I, this is my new GoPro Hero, I think it's 11 or 12, whatever the latest one is, he bought it. I can't remember if it's a 11 or 12. I don't know which number they're on, but I got a new GoPro. Got my new travel um, case for my um, SD cards. So I have all that in here. This is my adapter for my MacBook to put my SD cards in. I have, um, I lo also lost my other, my handle, my grip. So I got another grip. Um, here is the remote that I use with it. Also, this is um, a charger. So this way you, you can, with a GoPro, you can charge it in the camera, your battery in the camera, or you can charge it with this um, external charger. So this is helpful. That way you can keep charging your batteries without having to take up time from your camera. So I have all of that in here. And then in my other case, because I didn't lose the case, I only I laid the camera down and lost it. I still had a lot of my stuff from the old phone. So I have all, I mean, sorry, the old camera. So here are my mounts. I have additional mounts, extra batteries, um, tripod and stuff in here. So this is where I keep all my GoPro stuff. I'm not going to lose this new one. I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. So that's in there. And up here is the last section of the closet. And it's really just where I'm keeping um, my couple of my Mickey Mouse ears. I have my niece's ears up here. Let me see if I can show you guys. Grab it. So my niece's ears are here. These are my classic ears that I always, I've had these for years, but these are the ones that I wear. These things are like $30 at the park, and there's no need to buy a bunch of them. Um, I love wearing these hats. So we have a white one like this and a black one, and this is the blue one. Um, so we, I always get to have these visors with me. So that's all that's travel related up there. Now down here on this shelf, and this is below these set of drawers, is where I keep like my bags. 
So I have um, this. This is a crossbody bag that I have. I have a couple of. I have a weekender back there. Um, another big purse. I have a crossbody right there that I got off a cruise ship. Um, these two things here are waiting for our upcoming vacation. So this is some um, underwear. Not underwear, but you know, like warm um, clothes that you put on up under your jeans or your sweaters. This is a um a scarf it's a scarf and then in this drawer down here is where i keep all of my winter travel gear um a lot of this is new because i'm gearing up for some winter travel some gloves hats so i have all my hats down here I have lots of hats in here earmuffs warm tights back there some more tights here um these are like earmuff headbands but they're warm. They're good. Also, I have my compression stock, socks down here. I have another pack of these in my bedroom closet. Um, so I, I do wear these compression socks on the plane. Um, just just, just because. I don't know. You sh don't want anything to happen. But I've never had a problem with anything. But I do wear those compression socks. This is a travel blanket. Um, or a pillow. If you take the blanket out, the blanket is actually inside of here. Um, you have a blanket. If you keep it like this, it can be a travel pillow. Um, and it's a lightweight blanket. Um, I take it with me because it's so small. You just never know. I typically will use it in a hotel. I'll lay it across my bed or something um, in the hotel. So, yeah, that's what's in there. Down here. Okay, this is just a drawer. I keep my niece's stuff in when they are visiting. These are some. This is a ski suit. I just keep it tucked away right there. Those are my water shoes. I keep these in this in this bag here, my water shoes. I need to put these away somewhere. And then those are just some extra bags and stuff that I have over there. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would, please consider liking, subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna have some vacation coming up. So I, I'm gonna have a pack with me video coming up soon. So stay tuned. Go hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.